Okay, I'm going to turn that question to you, David. Also, I have the thought, I'm not exactly sure if it even relates specifically, but when I was at YU, one of my favorite professors was Yitz Greenberg, and one of Yitz's teaching was, I don't care what denomination in Judaism you belong to as long as you're ashamed of it. Right. And I thought, <laughs> you know, the perennial God against self-righteousness. Right. right. Rev. David. Right, so I'm not, uh, I'm not altogether sure that I'm ashamed of, of renewal, but I think that, that some of the things that, uh, that I would like to see renewal uh, broach are, are, and we have to some degree, but I think that it needs further elucidation and further um, uh, explication. Uh, one of the things that I think that would be great would be if there would be a, a, a clearer sense of principles around halachic process itself. We have a, 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 a set of principles in place, and it's very difficult to, to codify principles that are based on this kind of thinking. Because what is involved is, in, is not just giving over a set of rules, but a, a heart that can feel into each individual situation and know what the, the particular Torah or the halakha of that situation is. And to be able to think outside of the box also is, is absolutely, I think, critical. But I think that renewal um, will do itself a service in the next you know, couple of years when it has a much more codified way of engaging uh, the principles of Jewish law uh, and being able to have application and apply it. Mm -hmm. I think also that, that Jewish renewal um, is, as Reb Zalman has said, is a virus and it's, it's important to acknowledge to some degree how it has had an influence uh, in ways in which it has seeped into mm -hmm. the various places unbeknownst to even to the places that have adopted it. Um, and I also think that renewal the question, I mean, I, you know, with a little bit of fear, but to say to Reb Zalman, you know, I'm not personally 100% clear what's the best way for renewal to continue in terms of its educational agenda, um, whether or not denominational status. I, I, I obviously agree that it's not a denomination. I mean, Reb Zalman founded it. So if he says it's not a denomination, it isn't. Um, they don't listen to me. They don't listen to you. No, it's interesting, because Mordecai Kaplan, when he started Reconstructionism, said he didn't want it to be a denomination. He wanted it to be an influence on other right. movements, but it became ultimately a denomination. And you're saying you probably can be most effective if you don't actually become a denomination, because then you can affect others. Right, but w the difficulty, though, if we just kind of look at what's hard, though, is it's hard to describe what renewal is then. In other words, people come and they're, I mean, that's, I guess that's the question I get all the time. Well, what exactly, what kind of, what, what are you guys doing? What, what is that place? What is it? And everybody thinks in categories. So it's, if it doesn't fit into one of those categories, it's very hard mm -hmm. to describe it. So recently I've been saying to people, and I'm not even sure if it's accurate, I've never even said this to Reb Zalman, but I say that we are Hasidic Reconstructionism. That's not bad. It's not bad, right? It's reconstructionist with four worlds and Davinology. Exactly. That's, that's what, what I'm thinking. It I want to say something okay. more right. about this that has to do with today every Jew is a Jew by choice. Mm -hmm. The people who are um, running, as it were, the enclaves of committed uh, Haredi people don't believe that, uh, J that we are Jews by choice. They right. feel that we are Jews by necessity. But when I look around and I see all the people here, every one of you has made some kind of a choice. When you're dealing with free people who are making choices, then what you want to create in a community is a consensus of the committed. Mm -hmm. Along with that comes something very important. I'm very much aware, we are in a house of worship here, but even if we weren't, this call is being monitored for quality purposes. <laughs> okay? We are not alone. We are not alone. This is very real. And I think when we can bring this back into the awareness of people that this consensus of the committed is in the presence of the living God, it's mm -hmm. a whole other stuff. We are not so much in charge of it as we are giving consent to it. Mm -hmm. And I want to say along the lines of that, what motivates I guess a rabbi in this, in this 21st century with that reality is that the best have to is want to. That, that a Yiddishkeit that is, that is compelling is something you really want to do. You know, you know, people talk about commitment and having the tradition make a claim on us. And I, I think that that's a very beautiful frame. Have the tradition, you know, there be a, a covenantal sense of 
uh, the tradition making a claim on our lives, but as Jews of choice and Jews who make choices, we'll make choices usually that are in, that are, that are part of an aliveness that we feel. So we say, oh, I want to go light the candles because it makes me feel alive. I want to go to shul because it makes me feel alive. And even, I'm not saying that it doesn't make me feel joyous necessarily, even if it means being sad or whatever the, the, the spectrum of feeling is, but aliveness is a core component of the motivation to choose Yiddishkeit. So when people say to me, I'm sorry, I know you want to say something, but when, when people say to me, why be Jewish? The answer I say is, because it's great. Because it's... It's great. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's enriching. It's alive. It's, it's compelling. And it, 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 in many ways, it meets a lot of the nutrients that we as, as Jews need. It, it, can, you know, it meets the, neat, the nutrient of, it's a Jewish practice. It's a Jewish practice which connects me with the one who's monitoring this phone call. <laughs> and so it has all of those components.